The time is now 6.17, and it's time for What's Trending. Scientists, scientists well, it's Thursday, say that they have created a robotic fish that swims with heartbeats. Harvard University researchers teamed up with Emory University researchers to create a first fully autonomous biohybrid fish. That's a mouthful. <laughs> the artificial fish was made from human heart cells, and it's able to move because it recreates the muscle contractions of the pumping heart. Scientists believe this technology will help them study heart conditions like arrhythmias and could one day lead to them being able to build an artificial heart. We've been having so many really cool science stories and space stories and I think this is really awesome that, mm -hmm. you know, they were able to create a fish with like heart cells and then hopefully in the future they'd be able to recreate a heart because there's so many people on the organ donation list which are unable to receive organ donations so hopefully this will be something in the future that will be feasible i really think it's interesting like the how far come we've come with um technology medical technology and medical advancements uh i know we ran a story earlier about like best medical advancements in the last two years and there was a lot of them and i guess it's pretty interesting and fascinating like, how far medical advancements have come. Yeah. It is amazing. You hear about all these uh, robotics being built, though, and obviously you know, many of us ask, why do we build them? And mm -hmm. there's the answer right there. They'll hopefully eventually you can get a, get a heart going that can help uh, people out, especially those that can't get organ donations. Mm -hmm. And uh, find ways for that technology to kind of help get over that hump because, I mean, there's, there's a big need out there and unfortunately there's not enough donations out there, too. Yeah, so uh, taking a turn now. So what do you do with after retiring from a career in mixed martial arts fighting. If you're uh, Stipe Miocic, I hope I said that right, you become <laughs> a fighter. The former UFC heavyweight champion was sworn in as a full-time employee of the Westlake Fire Department in Ohio on Tuesday. He was joined by two other new hires at the ceremony at the Cleveland suburb City Hall. Miocic previously worked with the fire department in nearby Valley View. And like I gotta say, that's really cool to go from, well, one UFC fine, but he's giving back now and being a firefighter. It's one of the coolest jobs out there, if you ask me. Yeah, definitely. That's pretty cool. To, that's pretty cool to be able to see that, and, and it's just cool when you when you can get back to the community too. Because communities, I mean, I mean, they definitely, they definitely, they definitely rally together mm -hmm. and something like this. I think it's just awesome as a UFC fighter because like he definitely can subdue situations <laughs> that are a little dangerous and yeah. like keep things under control because he knows he has all those skills. But yeah, to be able to be an EMT and bring resources and health and safety to the community is so important. And we thank all the EMS workers yeah. out yes, there for sure. because thank you. you do we, an amazing we job. Think, we thank everyone that helps to keep our communities safe, whether it's firefighters, police, EMS workers, even our military that work mm -hmm. hard to keep everyone safe on a daily basis. So every day we thank them and uh, you you can never thank them enough. Yes, that's for sure. But meanwhile, though, instead of leaving home to visit Disney's theme parks, you could one day live in a Disney-branded community. Wednesday, the Walt Disney Company announced plans to develop residential communities. The neighborhoods will be a part of, will be a part of story living by Disney. Each location will feature perks like Disney cast members providing guest services and, of course, live entertainment. The company says its first community, Catino, will be built in, in Rancho Mirage, California. It will feature a wide variety of homes, including estates, single-family homes, and condominiums and uh, no, no details on prices and financing just yet i'm afraid to find out what that may be but disney says homeowners of all ages are welcome and they even plan to have part of the neighborhood designated for those at least 55 years old so not only just being inclusive there in general i don't know i'm just kind of just afraid to find out what the pricing of that would mm -hmm. be because usually when you hear something like that you usually hear it's like five million dollars or something like that i know oh, it's be, also new too so that's know. also going to jack the price right up oh yeah anytime you get something gets get something new like for example a brand new phone or something like that it mm -hmm. just gets ridiculously expensive and then maybe over time it starts going down because it all it's all about supply and demand and i think that's what we're looking at here right yeah. their business plan kind of confuses me because it sounds like it could be like a theme park, but mm -hmm. then they have Disney characters, but it's like a regular living situation, like condominiums. Maybe it's so a mixture like, of both. Are you going to yeah. have like Mickey Mouse walking down your street, like in like I, Donald Duck and stuff? Or are they just going to have like a stage and performances and 
Like, it's going to be kind of your own little world within, like, a world type of thing. They said guest know? services there, which makes me think it might be both, where it might have a little bit of a theme park feel where the characters may come in and uh, provide some guest services. I don't so, know how yeah. feel about I don't know I'm thinking about I don't it, know. Too. I don't know. I mean, obviously, obviously, this isn't all the details right there in but the if, story. If but you go to that this um, area, you're obviously preparing to see Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, as you walk down the street. So, Yeah, definitely. <laughs>